Hello my friends, I'm glad to see you again on my channel. This is Ivan Krause and you are on my follow Ivan Krause channel. And today we are going to continue about the Gauss MD metal detector. As you can see I got the new coil for the my Gauss metal detector. That's a small sniper coin, coil. It's not the round shaped. As you can probably see that's an elliptical one. Elliptic, I prefer actually more elliptic when I'm working on some uh, highly trashed and polluted areas because uh, it allows actually to work better in the trees, uh, in the fields. Well, if you're a highly literate place where you're going to hunt coins and some relics, if uh, it's located somewhere on, a, as you know, <laughs> big square or uh, that's kind of big position, then for sure it's better to use elliptical coil because uh, the round one is for the smaller areas so in case you have like three per three five by five uh, per five uh, meters area then it's better to hunt with the round shaped coil if it's larger than uh, like 10 square meters 25 50 square meters then for sure it's better to use an elliptical one and today we are going to see how this elliptical coil will perform with the gauss md metal detector made by mars md how it will perform on the silver hammered coins. So stay tuned and let's test it on my test site. Here we are. Let's turn it on and I will show you some settings what I have. So the gain 39, the discrimination minus 4, frequency L3, search mode. I put low but actually if you want some faster recovery speed then you can use for example, high with the smaller H or high with the capital H. Today we want to test the depth limits of the elliptic sniper coil made by Mars MD and we are going to test it on a low setting. But when you are out detecting, then I highly recommend you to put something like uh, high with the smaller H or high with the capital H. So mode analog, then volume 8 ferron volume 6 and transmitter is off actually if you are hunting all also on some highly literate place then i recommend you to use cl so in that case you will find more ferros targets non ferros targets and uh, let's test it right now i have a medieval silver coins it's a hammered ones on a depth 15 centimeters so let's try Very nice and cool signal. Then 17. Good signal once again. 22. No, it's actually 20 centimeters. Sorry. A nice signal, especially if we have such a small coil and a very deep target. Then 22 centimeters on an on a silver hammered not bad then 25 almost nothing and 28 if you will detect in the headphones then you will be able actually to to detect this target what do you think so as you can see it's performing well actually very well and don't forget to try it with the search mode actually search conditions not like a low or normal one but just put high or high with the capital H. It will help you enough. So please, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I would be much appreciated and uh, leave your comment. What do you think about it? Do you own the Gauss MD metal detector or not? Do you planning to get it somewhere or it's not popular in your, in your country? Anyway, I suggest, I suggest you to try this one, really. So guys, I wish you a nice day and see you in the next video. Thank you and bye-bye.